It is graduation season and one high school senior is upset after her high school said she was not allowed to wear Native American regalia on her cap. It comes after Governor Kevin Stitt vetoed a bill that would have protected students who want to wear regalia at graduation. News Force Hunter Elise spoke with her parents who say change needs to happen for the next generation. Annabelle Warito was planning on wearing a hand beaded graduation cap and eagle feather from the Comanche tribe for graduation. But after being told by four different staff members at Elgin High School that she wasn't allowed to, her parents have one question. Why? It's her culture and that is something that we hold up high. Annabelle first wore this graduation cap during a senior walkthrough of Elgin schools. The next day, she found out it wouldn't be allowed for the actual commencement. There are a lot of Native American kids in her class that are graduating this year. And I think if they did want to do that, they should be able to have that opportunity to do that. Officials with Elgin High School tell News 4 undecorated caps are the rule for all students. The only students that are allowed to put anything on their cap are Native American students who present with, a, uh, with an eagle feather. And just because of the Attorney General's ruling, I feel like we did our due diligence on that. But civil rights advocate disagree with that 2019 ruling from former Attorney General Mike Hunter. We know that celebration doesn't always come in the form of a suit and tie, that graduation is supposed to be one of the most important times in a student life. And to deny an Indigenous student who already faces the pressure of a school system that is forcing them to assimilate is really disheartening. Annabelle will wear the eagle feather, but not her cap with the beating. Her mother hopes things will someday change. Some of these kids, their family, this will be the first time someone has ever got a diploma in that whole family. So these are accomplishments that need to be celebrated. In Elgin, Hunter Elise, Oklahoma's News 4. The ACLU did tell us they are working with lawmakers on a new bill that will be specific to include beating and eagle feathers on graduation caps.